Hi. I recently bought a, a booster box for Battle of Omni Digimon the card game. And I know that I've previously made videos about, you know, you shouldn't buy stuff that you're gonna just put under the bed, but you know what? I sold a lot of my Magic the Gathering and with the, a lot of the money that I made, I was able to buy some other stuff. So, you know, I bought this, you know, I already opened up the booster pack, so let's talk about what I did, what I got, and then maybe we'll see if we can build some decks, talk about the different cards, and we'll go from there. So, f so first, I do have to say that I got some pretty nice pulls. Um, some of these I had before, but I did get an Armageddon, I did get a Diaboromon, and then of course, Battle of Omni. Boom, a, a lot of Omnimon, a lot of Omnimons. Uh, I'm really excited about the X antibody, that's a secret rare. Uh, it's not even on TCG Player yet, which is pretty, you know, I uh, wonder what the price is on that. Uh, I did get an Omnimon Zor, and I did get an Omnimon. Uh, a regular one, but this is an alternate art, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, other things, and so I'll just kind of go over some of the things that I pulled off of, uh, you know, Battle of Omni. I got Cal Chaos Gallantmon, that's nice. The Fleezymon. Uh, let's see, this I had. I did get a Metal Garurumon. Wait. Oh no, that was from uh, my promo pack. Excuse me. I got some blue stuff, and uh, I got these. So this was just from the from the dash pack and then the Shotman DX and then I think that's it. And so um, you know, of course, I think the Omnimons are the highlight of this booster box. And I believe, I mean, I saw on eBay this was like eighty dollars or something. So that already makes a booster box worth it. Um, and we'll talk more about what I do with those uh, at a later time. Otherwise, I have uh, the rest of the cards here, and let's sort them into piles and see what we do. Before we get going, um, I did buy a promo pack, so I got some cool stuff from uh, Booster Set 1.0 and 1.5, um, and so that's where I got the Metal Guru on. So pretty happy. Uh, I did get a trainer here, so that's, those are always nice. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus more on the BT5. Yes, um, so I'm going through here, and I think what the, the first thing I'm noticing is there's actually quite a few of these uh, uh, white cards, and so. Um, it's an extra pile to sort your things into. Um, at this point, I'm just going to, you know, again, thinking about what decks I can build. So first, we're going to sort everything by color. This is going to take a bit. So uh, with the power of YouTube, you guys are going to skip ahead. And we're back. So these are all the boosters we got. You know, Booster Box has, I think, 24. So it's a pretty good number. And uh, I did see a lot of, uh, you know, Good rares and uncommons that I think could be useful for building a deck. So let's see what we did. And whoops, how did you get there? Um, like I said, there's a lot of cool white cards in the set. A lot of a lot of trainers. I got the fusion. I got the alt elite. So um, and I'm noticing that all these are rare. So it's a good haul. Uh, but this one and this one both boost like the Omnimon deck. So this helps Omnimon, helps the uh, Gravelmons and Grey and Agumons evolve. Uh, and I did get Arata, which I, uh, Arata? Sanada, which I think helps um, the Diaboromon. Uh, and I did get one of those. Uh, I did get more Omnimon, so uh, I think for now, the next step is to get an individual color and then sort them by level, just to see like what are we looking with, looking at. Um, you know, I know like these and these go help the Diaboromon deck, um, but you know, do I have enough, right? And so I guess let's see. Let's sort that out and then let's see what we're dealing with. So again, we'll pause and with the power of YouTube, we'll come back. We're back and we're sorted. So what do I see with the with the black cards? Uh, Arata, Arata, what he does is uh, Digimon with unidentified is in the trash, gain a memory at the start of the turn. And then on your turn, uh, when somebody Digivolves into Diaboromon, um, you can get another token. And so Diaboromon is all about those tokens. Um, he says, so when you when Digivolving, you can play another token that has cost 14, 3000 DP, and is mega form, unidentified type, and unknown. And I know that the Diaboromons from set one have similar abilities, so it's all about getting a bunch of Diaboromons out and then attacking with them. Um, and so Arata helps, uh, both gives you more memory if you have an unidentified in your trash, and it helps. Um, 
and it helps give you more tokens when, when you actually get one out. Um, some of these other option cards are just kind of like kill spell. So it's D Digivolve 2 or uh, D Digivolve 3, uh, but they're expensive in memory. So, you know, something to think about. And then uh, a Blazing Storm of Metal. If something has reboot, then it gets 1000 DP and blocker. Um, and so, you know, I did see that uh, the Black War Greymon does have reboot. And so I guess that is a, a, the purpose of that. Um, and I'm sure that if I look at the Omnimon Zort, that there might be some synergies there. Um, trash the top cards of your deck. If it's, uh, then you can play two black or purple from uh, with play cost of eight or less. When attacking, uh, return one Digimon level six to uh, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with play cost 12 or less. Hmm. Nothing about reboot. Interesting. Anyway, um, Diobaramon is heavily present in this set. And so we do see Kurisarimon, Infermon, and Kuramon. They're all the unidentified type, so they would all help uh, Arata. So definitely you want to play set of four. Um, I didn't get four of all of them. So I did get four Kurisarimons. I did get four uh, Karamons, but I didn't get four. I only got three of these, so I'd have to go buy another one. And I do see these are uncommon, so that's that's probably why. Uh, so the ability uh, on play. So this lets you um, reveal top five cards of your decks. Repeal top five cards from the top of your deck. Add one Digimon card with unidentified to its type, uh, one and one and one trainer, Arata trainer, uh, among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom, so it helps you with the card draw. Curry Sarimon is when digivolving. If you don't have one of these, you can play one of the trainers. Sorry, you can't see my hands. If you don't have a trainer, you can go play a trainer. Um, and then the inherited ability is other Digimon with the same name gain rush, so you can attack right away. Infermon says that Karamon can go into this one directly for one more memory. Uh, and then on deletion, you can make uh, the Aboromon token as the inherited effect. Uh, so that's cool. Um, otherwise, there's, uh, you know, black is a lot about uh, defense. And so these other cards are more, very more defensive. So the Commandermon, uh, if you want to go the D Brigade, is a blocker. Shademon is basically only a blocker. On your turn, this Digimon can't attack. Uh, Mechanorimon is a blocker. And then um, if it kills something, it like you can, you can restand it. That's nice. Uh, and then there is um, Black Galgamon and Black Mech Galgamon. Uh, so this one is Inherited Ability. If it has Reboot, it gets Jamming. Um, Black Mech Galgamon is Reboot. Um, so this one would give it Jamming. And then if this has Reboot, then it gets 2,000. So looks like you could make a line here. Uh, Black Galgamon, Black Mech Galgamon, Black, up to Black War Greymon. Um, and then I did get the uh, Metal... Let me see. Yeah, I did get the Metal Garurumon, which has Reboot, right? So this all kind of su supports that. And in Digiburst, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of six or less. If no Digimon is deleted by this effect, trash the top card of your opponent's security. Um, so it looks like, yes, you do have the, the Diaboromon track. Um, but then if you don't like that, then you can also do like uh, some of these other cards to kind of maybe try to make your way up to Omnimon Zwart. But I'm not seeing a ton of synergy here. So this doesn't have reboot or, uh, you know, jamming and stuff. I guess you could give it in, through the inherited effect. Um, this, sorry. But it's kind of interesting. Otherwise, um, I did get one of these, the, the Waru Manzimon. No abilities, but it is cheaper, right? So we see like this is eight, this is seven, that one costs five, and then the Digivolution is two, so it's also cheaper. So it's just another way to play a card, draw a little bit faster. Um, and then uh, over here, there are the Sumimons when attacking. This Digimon is identified in its type. Trigger, draw one. So again, just. The card draw is really important for in, in all card games. Um, and so definitely if you have the, the Diaboromon track, that would help. But the set is not enough. You definitely need to get set one items so you can get more, more things that have the synergies, particularly with the unidentified uh, card type. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and put the black away and then we'll analyze another color. Okay, we're back. So sorted out all the blue cards and let's see. Um, so we did get some nice options. So this one is um, bounces Digimon that are three three thousand DP or less. And if you have an Omnimon, five thousand or less. Uh, Absolute Blast works with um, the wh what is it? The Balukumon, Paledramon, Chris Paledramon, uh, or over here uh, Hexablaumon. So that that line is all about bouncing your Digivolution cards. So trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the bottom of their owner's deck. So it doesn't delete them. 
so it's a little bit different, um, which may be important for some of the, um, the Diaboromon cards. Um, you know, just starting from the top, Metal Gururumon is, um, you know, has an inherited effect, so gain a memory when attacking, once per turn, really great. Um, it has a Gururumon of the Digivolution cards, uh, return an opponent's Digimon with an on-deletion effect to the bottom of his owner's deck. So it removes that deletion ability, and it's like, well, why would you care about this? Because, as we saw earlier, Infermon has an on-deletion effect. So really, this card was made to counter that, right? So, so you're not deleted, you're gone, and no tokens. Um, another mega is Neptune Mon. It can't be attacked, but otherwise a vanilla. I'm not see. I can't see. I don't see myself running that one too much. Um, and then there's kind of two tracks with the blue. So one of the tracks, and this starts all the way with the the, the egg, is all about Garurumon, Omnimon, and just boosting it. Right? If it is Garurumon, Omnimon, get a thousand DP. The Gabumon says reveal three and then look for them. If you have them, put them in your hand. Garurumon says, if it has a Gabumon, gain a memory. And then um, if you are a Garurumon or an Omnimon, get stronger. And then there's a, I, I did get a rare Garurumon Sagittarius mode, where again, it just makes us stronger. Um, if you put this on top of a Garurumon, so like a mode change, then it gets jamming. So that's cool. Um, and then of course the Metal Garurumon. So, so that, that's a line there. But very quickly you see that this the blue is not enough to make that work. So you're definitely going to need um, blue cards from set one probably to, to kind of round out that set. Uh, the other strategy that I see is with the, the Digivolution card. So you have the whole line. Uh, inherited, inherited effect. When you trash a Digivolution card, you gain a memory. That's amazing. Uh, the Evolution, Polydromon. Uh, when Digivolving, trash two Digivolution cards. That's cool. Uh, the Chris Polydramon. Uh, when Digivolving, trash the bottom Digivolution card of all of them. And then also, if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards, uh, the inherited effect is they get security plus one. Um, and so again, looking at Hexa Blaumon, uh, it says when attacking, trash two Digivolution cards from your opponent's Digimon. And then if they have no, di no a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, it gets jamming. Um, and again, you give it security plus one, so that's great. Um, and then the other ability is your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't attack or block. Uh, so this is a, if you get this out, that's great. Um, I mean, every deck is going to have removal, so you're definitely going to need more than one. But this is a good way to shut somebody down for uh, a turn, make them respond to this, make them spend memory on option cards to get rid of this. Um, and then, of course, if you have uh, the trainers, then it's even better. Uh, if your opponent has Digimon with no Digivolution cards, gain memory uh, at the start of your turn. And then your turn, um, if you... If you attack with the blue Digimon and they have a card with no... Oh, and then you trash up to two Digivolution cards from the bottom of your opponent's Digimon. Um, so it just kind of facilitates that whole cycle. Um, the blue set of Battle Omni is not enough to make a deck work. But if you go to some of the older, earlier sets, then you can. So I started a blue deck that kind of gets at some of that. Uh, so Upamon gives you card draw if they have something with no Digi cards, no Digivolution cards. So that's great. Bukamon is when attacking, trash the bottom. So definitely you would do these. Um, if you're trying to go that route, uh, you would not use the the Sunomon since um, it only boosts the Omnimon, uh, Garurumon. Uh, and then, you know, again, I have a whole deck here. So this one is when playing, reduce, it makes it cheaper if they have cards with no Digivolution. Uh, when attacking, trash the Digivolution. When attacking, trash the Digivolution. Um, and I didn't want to bring this out. So I, did, I do have a blocker, the Grizzlymon. So it's two, Evolve for two, blocker. Um, and there's actually another one here, uh, Colamon, which is Evolve for one. Um, and, and it is weaker. So, that, you know, that is a trade-off. But, it, you know, again, memory is your resource. And so this may be something uh, I might slide into the deck. And maybe not just me, just because you do get to evolve, you know, you get to evolve to Rookie for zero and then evolve this for one. And now you have a blocker that can kill uh, the average Rookie. So uh, that's that's not bad. Um, other cards you might consider, and again, I'm, I'm saying this because I, I, I've, I've attempted to build it, right? Anjumon is trash the bottom Digivolution. When Digivolving, trash the Digivolutions. Ekakumon is trash the top Digivolution. Pranamon, trash the top Digivolution. This is the level 5. Um, and then, you know, there's other Megas that kind of support that. So, uh, Regulicusmon. I messed up the name, I apologize. <laughs> but that one is when attacking, trash the bottom Digivolution. If you do, draw one. 
It's great. And then this one is uh, your opponent has a Digimon with no Digilutions. It gets stronger and the security plus one. Uh, so these, uh, and then, you know, with the starter mat, um, Death Parade Blasters to remove a bunch of Digivolutions all at once. Um, this can make a deck. And so this is something to think about. For bat for the Omnimon, um, you know, again, you're going to need more cards. And I don't have that deck to kind of make that work. Um, there's, al there's also a couple other vanillas. Uh, I did want to note, note the uh, Siakomon. Your opponent can reduce Digivolution costs. Um, so I know there are some cards where it's like, uh, in fact, okay, you know, the Infirmon again, right? So this one says, if you have a, no, not, the, not this one. Um, there's other cards where it's like, oh, if you have this, it doesn't cost this much, it costs less. Um, and that one says, nope. Um, you also have a vanilla Gesamon. Um, you also have a vanilla Marine Devimon. Um, and so that's the blue set. We'll stop now and then we'll go to another color. Okay, we've sorted out green. And you know, green is just not my favorite color. Um, you know, I, I don't think I got any of any rares for green. Well, I guess I did get this one. Uh, Rafflesimon, Digiburst 2. Trash to the Digimon's Digivolution cards to activate the effect below. Our Digimon get 2,000 bigger. Your turn, once per turn, when one of your Digimon activates uh, Digiburst, or one of your opponent's Digimon can attack or block until your opponent's next turn. Um, so you need Digimon to activate Digiburst. Um, you can evolve, on, put it on top of a level 6 or on top of a level 5. Uh, cool. And then otherwise, I'm not sure. I mean, so the Yokimon, Yokomon, the egg, is uh, if you Digiburst it, uh, one, of, one of your Digimon gets bigger by 2. Uh, Terriermon is Digiburst, so you yeah, the, the, the Digiburst the egg. And if you do, you draw a card, and if it's green Digimon, add it to your hand hand otherwise throw it away but it doesn't seem strong right it's you digi burst so you, you trash a card to maybe draw one i mean i mean most likely you will i think 60 70 percent of the cards will be uh digimon i don't know but then it's like attack attack one so you know uh, you do have floramon which is a vanilla and then palamon palamon is nice so on deletion you place one palamon from the trash under one of your green digimon at the bottom of the dilution cards so you could help feed some of the digi burst um, you know, over here we have, what is it, uh, Mori Shellmon is a vanilla, uh, Weedmon is when it's digi-bursted, gain a memory, so that's nice. Um, this one reveals three cards and, uh, looks for digi-absorption, digi which is to tap something else so that, um, it makes the, the digivolution cheaper. Uh, the two ultimates that I got were vanillas, nothing there. Uh, Piximon evolves for cheaper, but then it's higher to play if you have to, uh, you know, hard play it, hard cast it. Uh, Deramon, for each other suspended Digimon you have a play, the Digimon gets bigger by two. Uh, so not enough to kill Omega, but, uh, you know, I guess it could swing, kill other ultimates. Um, I did get one Tamer. Uh, if your opponent has an, a suspended Digimon, gain to memory. Uh, and then when you attack with the level five, you can draw three cards. And if you have a level six, you can evolve it for free. Um, so that's something. And then, uh, you know, so... I mean, I think the big attacker, the one that has the most synergy, is going to be the Rosamon. Digiburst 3. All your Digimon with Digiburst gain security attack plus 1. So it looks like if you have 2, then they're going to boost each other. Um, but you have to use it. So I guess uh, it's unlikely that you'll have all of them, like both of them, fully charged up and ready to go. Especially when everything else is. Other things have Digiburst. Uh, maybe, depending on how you play. Uh, Bancho Lilymon, uh, who looks cool, is return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of the owner's deck. Trash all the Digivolution cards of that Digimon, but it's on deletion. Um, and green is not, I don't think green is very good about deleting itself. Um, sorry for holding that incorrectly. Um, and I did get an Argomon, which is funny because it just totally shuts down uh, trainers. So Digisorption 2, so if someone did, digivolves into this, this card from your hand, you may suspend one of them to reduce the memory cost by two. Um, so again, maybe helps things like Deramon. When Digivolving, suspend all of your opponent's tamers, and then all turns, your opponent's tamers don't suspend. So I've definitely played people that have a lot of things that uh, suck. And so this is nice because uh, it's like you shut that down. Um, you know, it doesn't go, it doesn't get around effects like this one where it's like at the start of the turn, your, if your opponent has an unsuspended suspended Digimon, gain to memory. Um, so this is different from some of the earlier sets because these are, if you have a condition, you start your turn with two more. Whereas all, like in previous sets, it was like, Whenever it's your turn, you always get pushed up to three. 
So, um, but you know, it's a little bit different and I don't mind it at all. Um, for your options, uh, your cheap option is going to be Royal Nuts, as, which is basically look for uh, Digisorption. Um, there's a card with a funny name. You can actually fly. Where you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, then if they have a level 7 in play, trash the top card of your security stack. Uh, just an ability I'm not sure Green had very much of before. Uh, and then Weaselin. Up to two of your opponent's Digimon can attack, block until the end of the turn. Then if you have a Digimon with Digiburst in play, gain two memory. So if you have like a Rosamon, then it's not as pricey to play. Uh, and then the security effect is the same. So I don't know. I mean, I know, I'm sure there's other players that play green more. For me, I'm not seeing, like, definitely you can't build a deck out of this. You, you'll need more sets, um, which is kind of a pattern with the Digimon. But um, anyway, that's green. We're going to switch to other colors now. It's time for red. Um, so here, the nice red card that I got was a Shoutmon DX. And so there is a Shoutmon line in the Battle of Omni. Um, what happened to this? Well, that messed up. Anyway, um, so it has Blitz. So if you evolve into it and then you push into your opponent's memory, you can still attack. Uh, when Digivolving, uh, you may place a red Digimon card from your, your hand on top of the Digimon Digivolution cards, and for each Omnimon or Omni Shotmon or Zai Greymon in the Digimon Digivolution card, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. So basically, you can evolve into you can evolve it on top of one of those. And if you when when you digivolve it, you can add another one, and then you can start deleting things. Uh, and then it has Blitz, so that's nice. Um, the Shoutmon line does kind of fuel that. So the Zag Gray one says, uh, if you have Blitz, you can attack an opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Also, Z Grigmon has Blitz. It's a Mega, um, you know, Omni Shoutmon. Uh, Shoutmons can evolve directly into this level five. Uh, and then if it has Blitz, it gets security plus one. So if you get all three, then, you know, you swing pretty hard. Um, and then, of course, Shotmon itself. While this Digimon has Blitz, it gets uh, stronger. And then when you play it uh, for three, you get to reveal five cards of your deck, add one Digimon that has Shotmon in its name, and one Digimon card with Blitz among them to your hand. So it helps you with that card draw, even though it's pretty weak by itself. Um, so there's some stuff here for sure. Uh, I do think that this set is not enough to make a, a Shotmon work, um, but I do wonder maybe as, as more sets come out, maybe there's more things you can do to kind of help fuel this line. Um, otherwise, you do have the uh, Koromon, Agumon, Omnimon line, right? Koromon, boost them. Uh, so uh, when attacking, draw one and hair defect, so pretty good. Uh, Agumon is, uh, you know, similar ability is uh, reveal top three cards, look for Greymons or. Uh, or Omnimons, oh, Greymons and Omnimons, reveal, and then reveal them, put them to your hand. Um, Greymons, uh, if it has, if it evolved from an Agumon, get a memory, and then if it is the special, the people in the same line, it gets plus 2,000 DP. Um, no Metal Greymons, but I did get the Ultras mode. Uh, so if it evolves on top of another Metal Greymon, then um, you can kill something that's small. Um, if, it, if the inherited effect is it gets 2,000 DP, so same as a Greymon, it just makes your uh, Omnimons or, or War Greymons bigger. Uh, and then I did get one of those, War Greymon. Uh, when Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Blocker if it has uh, somebody in the line. Uh, and then when attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. Uh, inherited effect, so this would be for like the Omnimon or something. Um, so that's cool. Um, so we talked about those, we talked about those, and then there's like a few other random cards. So I think we can see the Triceramon, which is just a vanilla. Uh, there's this Dorbrickmon. So Dorbrickmon is, uh, you may trash one red Digimon in your hand to add the trash card CP to this Digimon for the turn. So that's cool. You can get a really strong DP attacker, right? Because you can dump a Mega and then, you know, make this 20 or whatever. But I find that usually you don't need something so strong. Um, and it is a common Mega. Um, what else we got? Uh, there is a, a Monochromon, uh, so that's your blocker, and then uh, Maramon, so when Digivolving, one of your other Digimon gets three, plus 3,000 DP for the turn. Um, so that's nice. Um, again, it doesn't help removal, so I mean, not, not super sure how useful it is. Uh, the, the, this rookie, Gaussmon, it boosts other Gaussmons um, by 3,000 on your turn. Your opponent's turn, they can't reduce the Digivolution cards, so uh, another one of those. 
So it might be good to have one up the sleeve, but not super uh, critical. Uh, and then there are some options. So Rowdy Rocker, um, you know, place one red level four Digimon, one level four lower Digimon card from your hand under one of your Digimon uh, uh, as its bottom Digivolution card. If you do, trigger draw two. So draw cards. Transcendent Sword. Um, kill something that's 11,000 DP or less. If you have an Omnimon or Greymon, then you can kill something that's 15,000 DP or less. So, you know, removal, really strong removal, basically, especially if you like build it in. Uh, that's red, we'll move on. All right, the yellow is sorted. And so uh, I'm actually not very impressed with the yellow. So we do have the Renamon line. So on play, one of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one. Kibimon says your opponent's securities uh, uh, get, Digimon get minus a thousand DP. Uh, Talmon is all your opponent's security Digimon gets minus 1000 DP, so same as uh, Kibimon, but these are all inherited effects. So they kind of have to devolve, digivolve them into each other. Uh, and it's a Kuyumon, uh, on your turn, your opponent's Digimon get minus 3000 DP, so same thing. Um, opponent's turn, if they move something from the breeding area and they push it up to the field, then uh, it gains security attack minus three, so it basically stops them from keeping something in the breeding area just to keep it safe. I, I mean, these are all very defensive cards, right? But they don't exactly win you games. And so, you know, com this compared to jamming, I mean, jamming is just, it ignores this whole security Digimon DP entirely, right? So I'm not really sure about the Renamon line. Um, we do have a cute mon. Your opponents did can't reduce Digivolution costs. So uh, that's cool. I guess there might be some trainers that do that. We've seen that ability a couple times already. Um, and then you have like the warrior line. So... I wasn't, I did not get a Lord Nightmon in this pool, uh, which is fine. I got a bunch of Omnimon, so, you know, no, no complaining there. And I'm noticing that all of these are on play. So this one's on play. You reveal, uh, look for warriors or holy warriors. On play. Switch your security stack for one Digimon with warrior, holy warrior. Uh, add it to your hand. If you do, recovery plus one. So if you have your Lord Nightmon and it's in there, then you can pull it out and replace it. Um, but it's security, so there's kind of pros and cons to doing that. Uh, Nightmon, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000 DP. So here's your aggressiveness where it's like, okay, yellow can be really good at making their Digimon weaker. And if you make them down to zero, then they're dead. Um, Nightmon helps with that, but it costs seven. So it's not the cheapest. Although I guess the benefit is that when you do get it out, then, um, you know, you have a level five that you can evolve to a level six. Um, but I didn't get that many good level sixes. And so, I mean, I did get Sequiamon, which is one, and then Gigimon. Uh, on deletion, trigger recovery plus one. That's defense. But it doesn't win you the game. And so, like I said, I'm just not really impressed. Uh, the other line that we see is a Starmon line. Um, and so I guess they help if you have a lot of Mons out there. So if you're first Digimon you have in play, on play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1,000 DP for the turn. So it costs three, so that's nice. Um, shooting Starmon, one of your opponent's Digimon, Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn on deletion. Super Starmon is a vanilla. Um, so in the in the heavens yellow starter deck there's a lot of cards that make your opponent's digimon weaker and so the starmon line you know does some of that um i mean a little bit nightmon too but it, you know it's a little bit risky um and then i think pikmon is kind of similar if you have three or more digimon in play one of your opponent's digimon gets minus a thousand dp for a turn when attacking so i mean it does help kind of fuel so there is like a little bit of a strategy here um these are all warriors and you they do help kind of draw each other um but these are all about like getting your lord nightmon which I don't have, so I don't, you know, I mean, I could, you could Google what it does. Uh, I might take a break, put a slideshow here and show what it does. But, uh, you know, one booster box, I, you know, you can't build a deck out of that. Um, and then options, so Meteor Shower, you may play one yellow Digimon card with Starmon in this name without paying its memory cost. Um, not efficient for this one, somewhat efficient for some of these other ones. Uh, but the security effect lets you do that, so that's nice. Um, and then Spiral Masquerade, so Lord Nightmon's attack. Um, for each Digimon you have in play, activate the effect below. Whenever your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. So this does help fuel that strategy, so that's cool. Um, just kind of a little disappointed that there's not a ton of synergy, particularly in the Renamon line. But that's my opinion. If you disagree, say it differently in the comments, and we'll go on to the last color, purple. All right, and we're here with my favorite color, purple. Um, and then again, I did get a Chaos Gallantmon. Um, I did get one of the uh, Omnimon Zords, 
So uh, there are some things that we can kind of look at as we see what a booster box can give you. Um, there's kind of like, I guess, three main lines here. Uh, so I guess one will can be one we can call the random line. So there's like a Pillowmon, which is just like a vanilla. Let's see, I think that's in here. Yes, there's a Pillowmon, vanilla, uh, Troopmon on deletion. You can play another Troopmon uh, without paying his memory cost. So that's nice. And we'll see that effect being later, being important later. Jokermon, you may play a level three Digimon card from your trash without paying his memory cost. Uh, any on play effects don't work. Um, so those are kind of like your off ball things, but they do support uh, the the Gilmon uh, Chaos Gallantmon line. Gilmon says uh, this card is deleted by an effect, gain a memory. Gaining memory is always great. Uh, when it evolves to Black Growlmon, uh, one of your when one of your other Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So if this is deleted by an effect, then this then whoever evolves into this will be stronger. Um, and then what? Mm, this so the Black World Gromon has a Digiburst three. You may play a little digi level three Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost, right? And we know some of these have deletion effects, so that's nice. Uh, on play effects don't activate. There's no on play effect. And then the inherited effect, you may delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. Um, so again, if you delete it, gain a memory, unsuspend, attack again. Uh, I, I can see there's like strong synergies there. Uh, Megidramon, uh, when digivolving, uh, you trash the top five of your decks, which purple is always great because there's a lot of things in the trash that you want to use. On deletion, if you have a tamer, you can play level six Digimon Gallopmon in its name from your hand or trash without paying its memory costs. Um, well, how might you get it in the trash? Purple has a lot of ways to get things in the trash. Um, you know, and then again, a reminder of the, of the Chaos Gallantmon. When Digivolving, delete one of your other Digimon to kill one of their level fives. You have deletion effects, so that's great. Uh, once per turn, one of your other Digimon uh, is deleted. You may play level three purple from your trash without paying its memory cost. So you can delete something, kill some one of theirs, and then on your turn, you can kill it again and then pl like play it back. When one of them is deleted, you can play level three purple Digimon. So there's a lot of strong synergies there to uh, kind of um, you know, bring stuff back and then kind of get some of their effects to go off. Um, so there's good. And then uh, there's another deletion effect, fake Agumon Expert. Return a level three Digimon with on deletion uh, from your trash to your hand. So so not this one, but you can get the Gilmos back. So good synergies there. The other thing that I'm seeing is the, um, uh, I guess the uh, Zanba line, the Z Zambamon line. Um, so Pillamon Vanilla, Musiamon is jamming. This is really good just by itself. Jamming for level 4, you can just start swinging and, and ensure that it won't die. Bakramon is a Vanilla, but it evolves for 2, which is cheap, so that's that's not bad. Uh, Zambamon is a uh, Retaliation, so if it dies, uh, it, or if it, when the Sigimon is deleted after losing a battle, it deletes whatever it was fighting, uh, so kind of like Death Touch. It's not bad at all. Options, so Demonic Disaster, you may delete one of your Digimon to suspend one of your purple Digimon. So again, for these deletion effects, great, great synergies there. Uh, revive from the Darkness, delete one of your purple Digimon. Again, synergies. Uh, then you may play a level 5 or lower Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Um, and then Earthshaker, so delete one of your opponent's unsuspended level 4 and one of their unsuspended level 5. Um, so, you know, specifics, it's not just like a generic kill spell, but... Uh, there, you know, there is use for having, um, like if you have a Plutomon or, uh, you know, Lilithmon or there's other, there's, there's a lot of ways for purple to use options. Um, and I do think that this is a, a strong one to consider. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, I do have a purple deck and I do see myself, uh, you know, maybe incorporating some of that stuff there. Um, I do think that, uh, the Chaos Gallantmon line is something that you could build. Um, so... You know that there's some strength there and then the omnimon zwar is um strong so and then that that fits in with this as well um we're gonna clean this up and then conclude in a bit so i did want to talk about the white cards uh basically uh some tamers so mega digimon fusion looks like it helps you get an uh an omnimon out for free but it's only like a one turn um in a nutshell so basically says when you digivolve from level six to seven, reduce the memory cost of the digivolution by six. Um, you know, Omnimon costs four. Uh, Omnimon X antibody costs six. Omnimon Zork costs six. Um, and then at the end of the turn, return a Digimon 
that Digivolve with this effect to the bottom of Sonar's deck, trash all Digivolution cards with that Digimon. So it's good for like, I need one more push, and so I'm just gonna get it out for free without paying the memory, attack, do your things, because Omnimons are very strong, and then this effect kind of kills it. So this is like, I gotta win, I gotta win. Uh, all delete costs 10, and it just uh, return one of your Digimon Onimon to its owner's hand, delete all Digimon and Tamers, trash all the Digivolution cards of the Digimon you return with this effect. I mean, sometimes you need a board wipe, so... Especially, I don't know, if you have an Omnimon and they have a, like, a bunch of rookies. I'm not sure, right? Maybe there's uses there. Uh, Matt gives you energy. Ty and Matt give you energy if your opponent has a Mega. Um, your Omnimon has security plus one. Uh, Nokia lets you uh, play Agumon Gabumon on play. And then when you Digivolve into the uh, Garurumons, Greymons, Omnimons, um, you reduce their memory cost by one. So this could go well in a blue or a red deck. Uh, and then uh, Tak Takumi, um, so he, what is it, when one of your Digimon Digivolves, you may suspend this trainer to trigger draw one. Uh, and so, you know, when you Digivolve, you draw one anyway, but this is your draw second one, but then it says your rookies can't attack. Uh, or I guess they can't attack, when attacking, they lose one memory. Um, so I think there's a lot, I play purple. Purple has a lot of ways to draw cards, so there's a lot of like draw one, trash one effects. But not every deck has that, and so I can see this being like a neutral way to boost some of those decks so that when the Digivolve, they get to draw more and make sure that maintain that card advantage. Um, you do lose the ability, not lose the ability, attacking with rookies sucks even more, but um, not every deck attacks with rookies anyway. So this is something to consider, kind of a nice generalist uh, for different types of decks. We're going to pause and then actually conclude later. One more thing, um, and so before I packed my phone, I was like, oh, what about this other eBay list I have? In? I, have. Um, I won a tournament recently, and I got this uh, cool Lagunimon box, um, and so it is pretty shiny, um, and uh, you know, there's, you can build it yourself. Um, but I will say for myself, I already got a ton of deck boxes, and so I don't know if this is going to be something that uh, is gonna give me a ton of value. Like, again, I have a lot of deck boxes, but maybe you love it. I will say that this is really hard to find. Like, I didn't, couldn't find it on Amazon, and um, it is like a tournament prize, so it's pretty, it's not, you know, it has Digimon on it, so uh, perhaps you may like it. Um, so, I'll, so this is already listed on eBay, so I'll go ahead and uh, just put that link in my description. Um, thanks. All right, and so just to conclude, um, you know, I think for, uh, if you get a booster box, you're gonna get a lot of the commons. Um, most of the uncommons, you maybe not get, a, you may not get a playset, but you'll get most. Um, and then you'll you'll get, you know, one through four rares on average. Um, I did not get a Lord Nightmon. I, I think Lord Nightmon is um, super rare, so you know that, that explains that. But I did get a secret, which was cool. Um, and you know, I did get a bunch of these uh, other other super rares. So I did get a Chaos Gallimon. I did get a Metal Gururumon. Uh, Omnimon, Omnimon Zor, Armageddon, got all those. Hexablaumon, get, did get one of those. Um, so I'm pretty happy, but uh, like I got, for most of those, I only got one of. Um, and so I do, you know, something to consider is if you want to build these decks, you're probably going to need more than just one of. Um, and when you buy a whole booster box, I mean, you know, again, here's here's a stack, right? You know, it's, you get all these cards, and a lot of these are commons, and a lot of these are not great. And so maybe... Uh, you know, strategies are to get a booster box. So you get like, okay, a little bit of everything and maybe you try your chance to get uh, some Omnimons or, you know, see what else you can get. But um, after that, I don't know if I would recommend necessarily getting a second because you're going to get a lot of filler that you don't necessarily need, right? Like you're going to get, um, you know, get like in one booster box, I got three of these, right? And so if I do another one, like, do I really need six if I'm going to build a deck, right? You know, I got three Gilmons, Gilmons on, on common, do I need um, that many more? Pillowmon's a common, I got four, right? So so I think when you buy that booster box, and the booster box costs an average of 100, 100 USD, um, I, you know, one, helps fill out your collection, but two is going to give you a lot of things that you're, it's going to just stuff. It's, it's just, it's just going to, you know, it takes up space, right? So with something like that, it may be more beneficial to just buy the individual cards. And so I do think after kind of looking at the set and like adjusting the cards with you guys, uh, I do think I'm going to uh, sell some of these on eBay. So I do think um, I like Omnimon. And I, I do have this alternate art, which is pretty cool. Um, but I do think maybe if I sell them, I can use some of the proceeds to 
build up some of the decks that I, I really want to play. I do think that Shoutmon is going to be cool. Um, and there are a couple cards that kind of feed into it already. Um, you know, yellow, uh, I didn't get, you know, there's a couple cards that like get less DP, but uh, I didn't get any 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 shinies from there. Um, I did get a bunch of blue that does with like, that deals with the Digivolution. Um, and so if I build that out, I definitely want to buy more Hexa, Hexa Blaumans, uh just to make sure I can have like a set of Megas. Its ability is really strong. Your opponents with Dig Digimon without Digivolution cards can't attack or block. That's really strong. Um, and then there's a chance for jamming. Um, I did get plenty of these trainers. Um, you know, green, uh, I'm not a green expert. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a green expert. I know they deal a lot with suspending and digi absorptions and digi bursts. So there's a bunch of stuff there, but you definitely need the other sets to round that out. Um, if the price is high on this one, I might I might <laughs> see if this can find a better home on eBay as well. Um, I did like, I, I'm always a fan of purple. So I might even build a second purple deck focusing on the Chaos Gallantmon and the deletion effects. Um, we'll see. Uh, and then black, um, you know, I always feel like I want to build a black deck, but um, I'm not sure how I could get it to work with all the blockers. Um, I might just need to see some in action in tournaments. Um, the last tournament I went to, everybody had a blue deck, so, you know, and they all had like the Vmon jamming thing. So anyway, all that to say is I do think, um, you know, I'll post in my description some of my links to eBay uh, that, for these that I'm going to be on sale. Uh, the way that they're going to be shipped out is, of course, um, they're all going to be sleeved. Uh, so, you know, there's like a little sleeve here. In addition, I am going to put them in one of these. And then something that um, I'm going to do as well is I'll probably just put them in a cardboard. So you'll put this in the sleeve, put it in the cardboard. Uh, and then this is not going to bend anywhere. So it'll be shipped really safely. Um, it'll probably be an auction. So uh, there'll be a chance for you guys to, you know, compete if there's interest. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this <laughs> this this uh, th this um, was interesting to the YouTube world. Um, and, and then, yeah, good luck collecting, good luck pulling those secret rares, and I'll see you in the tournament. Thank you.